In today's video for Dragon Dogma 2, I'm going to be going over the most relaxing, chill and easiest way to level up your main character, so if you're trying to power level your main Arisen, this is definitely going to be something you'll want to know. Just so you know, it's not going to be the best overall if you're trying to level up your vocations, but for just maxing out your main character, and just for getting some extra stats on him if you want him to be very high level, and do some crazy damage with great mitigation, then this is going to be the video for you. And after a little bit, you won't even have to fight anything to do it. Now, the first thing you want to do is to pick up the very best XP item in the game and that's going to be the Medusa bow. As long as you've made it to Patel you can get this very easily by just heading down in this direction and then just making your way just up to a roundabout here. You'll know you're in the right location when you see two trees crossed against the cave and inside here you'll be able to fight the Medusa that you saw at the very start of the game. Take them out and you're going to be rewarded hopefully with a Medusa head if you're not sure how to get that then I've got a video that I'll link top right but the main thing you're after for this video is going to be the Medusa bow which rewards you with around about 4 times experience every single time you finish off a target while it's equipped. This is absolutely essential and we're going to be using it in a way that I've not really seen done before. So this time rather than going out, venturing, taking on baddies, you're going to make it back to the town of Melv and if you've not been there for a while you may want to port stone back to Vernworth and then take an ox cart from there all the way back there. But once you're at Melv, we're going to be able to start our very easy XP farm. Remember, just up at the top of Melv is going to be a little tower, but it's also got one of those really nice crossbows on it, the one that actually does some damage, not the rubbish ones, so we're going to head just up that way, in order to make it all the way to the top of the tower, and then jump on the crossbow we said. So here we are on it, you're going to want to rotate it, until you can see this big old tree just here, and just underneath it is going to be a griffin. If this isn't here then it's out on its rotation and you may have to wait a minute or so until it comes back. Now the main thing you want to be careful of when you're doing this is your pawns are ridiculously stupid and like to stand in front of you. If they do, take them out, get rid of them, do whatever you need to in order to give yourself a clean shot. Now the cool thing about this, you can take this griffin out in literally just a couple of shots which is absolutely amazing because we've got that thing on our back it's going to give you 4 times XP and now you're getting around about 32,000 XP every single time you knock one of these over also if you manage to get a perfect shot on it and hit it directly on the head first time then you're going to get an insta kill on it and it will give you the XP straight away now every time you've defeated the griffin you're going to want to bop just downstairs go back to where the inn is and then you're just going to rest outside for around about 3 days which is about 12 times sitting down on the bench outside you can do it for more if you want but I think 3 days is the minimum for Griffin to actually respawn rinse and repeat and you're going to have an XP farm that's really easy to do and it's great for leveling your main character's stats now I've been doing this for a little while now I think I was around about 45 when I started this and when I've ended up doing it I'd actually realised that I'd gone up to around about 53 this is by far the most chill way in the game to level your main character up, get some extra stats, perfect for anyone that wants to boost a lot of their damage through strength and things such as that without having to go out and farm a whole bunch of enemies or waste a whole bunch of money moving around the map. But yeah, let me know in the comments, hopefully this has helped you guys and girls out, but as always for all things gaming, take care, I'll see you on the next day.